So, how often does he take a dump? Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Generation Toy Dump Truck. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. It's right up front here. We have a nice piece of artwork of a dump truck in the heat of battle, and the picture wraps around to the bottom of the top it just says generation toy on the sides there is nothing on the back you have a piece of artwork here of the combined gravity builder and this is just a slip cover that you remove and it just says generation toy on the front generation toy on the back and that's basically it for the packaging so moving right along, here we have a dump truck, who is Generation Toys' next installment in their Gravity Builder uh, combiner. They're not Devastator, and this is their uh, long haul. And as you can see, he is a dump truck, which makes sense because his name is Dump Truck. They're not even trying with the names, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> here is Dump Truck, and he's a big old green and purple dump truck. We'll get in close here so we can see the details. You do have a nice uh, transclearance uh, front grille right there. Um, just to give a sense of how big this vehicle is, um, he has a staircase. He has a he has a staircase. Staircase. Anyway, <laughs> the headlights are painted in silver and orange. Uh, you get some like a coppery paint right there as well. Very nicely done, some nice silver paint. Uh, these pieces right here are made of a rubbery plastic, or just a rubber, really. It's just it's, it's just flat out rubber. Um, but yeah, that's so nothing gets snagged, nothing gets broken, which is uh, very smart considering uh, a certain part in the transformation. It's good that these are rubber, otherwise they probably will get caught and get broken. So good idea, good idea, Generation Toy, very good idea. On the sides there, you can see the uh, the rims done in silver. You got this nice big silver piece right here. That's some nice paintwork. Um, the bed itself is full of, you know, robot mode stuff. It is what it is. And the real wheels. And you get the caution stripes there on the back. Right here, you can see the gun is stored. And uh, these combiner pegs are actually meant to be tucked up into these cavities right here. I leave them down just because it makes life a whole lot easier because the ratchets on these are super, super stiff and you need a tool to kind of pry them up. So I leave these down just for ease, just to make my life easier, but they're supposed to go tucked in there. As usual, your toy, do what you want with it. That's, that's what I choose to do with it, but there you go. Um, nice big rubber tires, he does roll. As rolling things should, and rolls very smoothly. And uh, there you go. And also right up front here, you can see you do have some uh, transparent windows going around. It's very nice as well. And yeah, so there you go. So now for comparison, let's just bring in our other long hauls. There is the Combiner Wars long haul. Here is the Toy World long haul. Let's see if we can get them all in shot here. We'll put dump truck right there. TFC toy long haul. And G1 long haul cautious pressure. pressure. Dump trucking pressure. Oh, there you go. Let's see if we can get an aerial shot here. Oh, there you go. There we have all of our long hauls. That's a lot of long hauling right there. So there you have that, there you have that, there you have that and that. And we'll just stay up here for a minute and we'll bring in his teammates here. So we can see how they all scale with each other. Actually, let's put you over here, put you there. Okay, that probably doesn't work either. You know what, you, 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 you stay back here. There you go. Right there, right there, and right there. And there we have the team thus far. And they do look good together. They do look quite, quite nice together. Good looking team. Good looking team, man. That's a good looking team right there, man. That's a good looking team. I don't know why I felt the need to say it like that. <laughs> That's a good looking team right there. Yeah. That's a good looking team. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. 
I never knew. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there you have that. Um, he does include the, uh, the chest piece for Gravity Builder, for Devastator. So here's the chest plates, which is done in that nice dark purple. You get some gray, you get some silver right here, you get some silver right here. And this does store on the vehicle mode. You just rotate the wings around, fold them in, rotate, fold in. You take these pieces right here, you just slide them forward, and you just angle them up. And this tab right here goes into this slot right here. So you can just raise this up, make this a little bit easier. All right, just take that, plug that in. There you go. You just bring those wings down so everything sits flush. And that's how you store that in the vehicle mode, if you wish. So there you go. Hooray for storage. So there you have that. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So we'll start off with combined mode. Go into robot mode as usual. So we will remove this and put this off to the side for now. And we shall get started. First thing you want to do is you want to untop these sections right here. So just wiggle that off. You see a tab right there. Untop. And then you want to take these sections right here. Boom, slide them out. Slide that out. And then just bring these forward just to get them out of the way. Once you've done that, you want to take these side panels here, untab them, bring it down, untab, bring it down. And then you want to split the legs, and the gun will fall out. You see there are uh, just tabs on either side here, and they go into slots right up in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there are slots on either side right there, and that's how the gun stores. So I'll put that off to the side for now, and now we will... This out. Now we will work on the legs. So you just want to take this panel right here, bring it back. That'll plug in right there, like that. This right here, you want to flip in this post and then take this panel and bring it around, snap it in. The wheels will tab in right there. So just bring them in and they will tab. Boop, they will tab and they will tab like that. And then you take these panels right here, and just rotate them around, rotate that around, and there you go. You want to take this plate right here, untab this, see that? two tabs, two slots, untab that, and that will allow you to take these hip sections here and swing them out on that double hinge. Just swing that out, swing that out, and then you come to this plate right here. You fold out these panels right here. Fold that out, fold that out, and then take this gray piece and flip this out. And you want to take all this and swing it down, and the pegs on either side of this piece will go into these ports right here. So just line all that up like that. That will all come together. And once you've done that, these tabs will go into, uh, where are they going? No, sorry. My mistake. These tabs right here will go into these slots right there. And lock that all into place. Very secure. So there you go. So once you've done that, you take this whole assembly here, you rotate it 180. And there you go. Let me just raise this up all smooth. So once you've done all that, you just take this whole assembly, you bring it down. And you bring the arms back, and what's going to happen here is you're going to slide the arms back in, and this tab will go into this slot right here on the wrist, the uh, the innermost, well, the outermost slot, actually. So just slide that in, and you really just kind of have to feel around, because you can't really see what you're doing. But eventually, you'll find that slot, and that'll slot in right there. There you go. And then same thing on the other side, just slide that in, like that and just find it, so there you go, boom, like that, and then these panels, you just bring them in like that, the instructions tell you to just leave them straight like this, I take this little panel here and just flip it in, I just think that looks a little bit better, just me, as always, your toy, do what you wish with it, and then the wheels, you just want to angle down like that, and the last bit of transformation is, you just want to 
flip that up and then you get your fingernail right into this panel right here and you flip these out and this is where it's a really good idea that these pieces are just rubber because as you can see they do kind of get in the way so just flip that out down there flip that out and booyah there you have long haul in his crotch slash waist slash thigh mount and again these are uh, combiner pegs you just want to rotate down but i'm not going to waste time muscling these down with the tool because like i said they're very very tight but uh, of course you're going to take these and, and swing these down um but yeah there you have his combined mode i'm not going to compare crotches I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that because that's just weird and awkward and I just feel very uncomfortable doing that. So here is this version of Devastator's crotch. So they have that. <laughs> so we'll move on to Robot Mode. So to do that, just bring that down, get that out of the way. And we'll just take these panels and just bring them back to their original position. We will untab the arms, untab the arms. And then just pull them out, take these panels, flip them back in, bring these back up, bring these back forward, bring this back up, and this is just so you have room to operate down here, and rotate 180, and we're just going to undo everything we just did here, so we're going to untab this, which just have been very securely, there we go, untab that. Spread the legs apart so you can swing this up, bring that in, fold these little panels back in, there you go, uh, take the hips here and just swing them back into their original position, Boop, like that, and then again, two tabs, two slots, right there, push that in, lock all that in place, there you go. You want to take these panels and swing these back around because you need to do that for clearance for this step here. So you want to take the wheel, untab it, bring it back out, and you want to take the leg and just swing it down right there. Uh, once you've done that, you do want to take this panel right here and untab it and get that out of the way because now you're going to take the wheel and you're going to bring it in on this hinge and then bring it in on this hinge. And that will just tuck into this cavity right here. You kind of have to push the wheel in to get it to work, but it's it's a rubber tire, so it'll just squeeze in there. So once you've done that, you can now take this and peg it back in. There you go. Then you just bring down the heel, bring down the foot, take this panel, swing it back around, and there you have a leg all done. Second vest, much like the first. Open that up. Swing that down. Make sure that tab clears the leg there. Swing that down. Untab this section. Take the wheel. Fold it in. Close that back up. Boop. Swing that back around. Open foot. Bring down foot. And there you have legs. All done. Hooray! He has legs. Hooray for things with legs. I'm so happy for things that have legs because that means they can stand and walk and run or trot or jog. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Let's continue on. Okay. Uh, so you want to take this section. Bring it down. Uh, I'm insane, I know. <clears throat> but anyway, take that section. Bring it down. And now for the arms. To bring these back in. Now for the arms, what you want to do is you want to rotate this plate right here. As you can see, this plate rotates on its own. So you want to rotate this plate up, and you can see there are two posts here, and you won't be able to see it because, oh, there we go, if I raise the arm up, you can see it. You can see one of the ports here. There are two ports, and you just want to swing the arm up and then push it in, and those two posts will go into the two ports to lock the uh, shoulder in place. Once you've done that, you take his wrist here, you bring it around, and you rotate it so the hinge is facing downward, like that. And then you take this panel right here, you bring it around, and then this bit you just fold up under his forearm. It doesn't tab in anywhere, I wish it did, just to lock it into place. Um, and I wish this 
actually locked in securely. It does not. So sometimes when you want to move his arm, you'll break his <laughs> you'll break his wrist without wanting to. That's another thing that I wish there was some kind of solid locking point there. But oh well, it is what it is. And then you take the wheel here. It's on a double hinge. You just take it and you swing it back. And there you go. And also, I do wish that these shoulders did lock in a bit more securely because sometimes when you're messing with his arms, you can undo the shoulders and that can be a bit annoying. So I do wish there was a more solid way of, of locking the shoulders in place. But, you know, again, it is what it is. What do you going to do about it? So second verse, same as the first. Just bring that up. Push that in. Swing the wrist around. Boop. Rotate that. Swing this around. Bring that up under the forearm. Take the wheel. Bring it back. And there you go. I mean, if you want to, really, with the wrist, I mean, you can always flip them around the other way. Like this, if you want to. So you don't have to deal with it. I mean, either way, you're going to deal with... You know, if you want to move his arms, you might break his wrist, and now the hinge is exposed. So it's really up to you. Um, you can do it either way. I mean, either way, you end up with the same problem. It's just the case of this needed to actually just lock in securely. But anyway, once you have that done, you can bring that back, and then you come here, you open up the canopy, and then his head just swings up to the side, and just tabs in, close it back up. Rotate his head. And there you have Mr. Dump Truck. In his robot mode. And I likes him. I think he looks cool. He's a big, uh, beefy long haul. And I dig it. I, I do quite dig the design of this guy. So let's get in close here so you can see his head sculpt. A lot of nice silver paint here on the head sculpt. You can see he does have some... Pretty good light piping. I mean, the whole back of his head is light piping, so it better work. <laughs> so you get some nice light piping there. And um, overall, like I said, I, I really like the design of this guy. I think he looks really cool. He's got the uh, caution stripes there on his uh, biceps. Got some silver there on the crotch plates. Some nice silver legs. Again, nicely done. Um, as far as the backpack goes, I mean, he has the uh, combined mode crotch plate there in this piece. This piece, the instructions actually tell you to leave this down like that, but I don't like that. I don't like that at all. You can, you know, you can kind of angle it however you want. Me, personally, I just bring it all the way back. That's just me. But again, your toy. Do what you wish. And again, his shoulders came unpegged because... That needs to work better. That just <laughs> that just needed to work better. Then there needed to be maybe some point where it just kind of clicks, just a clicking point, as opposed to those pegs. That's something that I think could have been uh, done differently. But you know, oh well, ski. What are you going to do, ski? That's there. You have that. Now articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint. You can get a little bit. A little bit of wiggly waggly, wibbly wobbly, whatever you want to call it. Action, he can look up a bit, he can look down a bit, you do get full rotation. The shoulders can do a full 360, they can go in and out. You do have a bicep swivel, you have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow, you can break his forearms. Uh, he does have a wrist swivel, um, the hands do open and close. He does have a waist swivel, although to uh, use the waist swivel, you do have to bring the combined mode crotch down, otherwise it kind of gets in the way. And once you get to a certain point, things just start to look weird. So, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. But there is a waist swivel. It's there if you want to use it. The legs can go forward that much with the crotch plate down. If you want some more range of movement, then you have to untap the crotch plate, and then you can bring his leg all the way up, you can go pretty much all the way back, tap that back in, outward movement, you get a nice stiff ratchet there, you can do the full splits, he does have a thigh swivel, he does have a uh, slightly, slightly under 90 degrees of bend at the knee, and the feet are on a ball joint and a hinge there, so you can kind of move that up, you get some tilt, you can move his toes up, you can swing his toes down. 
Can't really do too much with his heel. You can bring the heel down, but you can't really bring it up. Um, he does have rubber pads on the bottom of his feet. All the figures do have rubber pads on the bottoms of their feet, which is uh, very nice and helps with stability when you're posing him. And again, his shoulder came unpegged. How dare you? How dare you? There you go. So, there you have that. Now, of course, you can still store uh, Gravity Builder's chest shield if you want. Uh, the way I do it is I take the wings and I swing them back around like this, and I just bring them in like that. And then you can take it and just tab it back in where it was. And when you have it folded up like that, it just compacts it a bit more. So you don't really see it from the front. So that's a thing. That's a thing you can do if you wish. So there you have that. And for his gun here, you can flip down the peg. You can flip down this piece right here. And then you can extend the barrel like that. And there you have his gun and you can hold it, and there you go. So there you have that, and one last accessory that is included, you do get an alternate head. So if you don't like the head that's already on him, you can add this head if you wish, which has more of a black helmet, silver mouth plates, and you get some more of a, uh, looks more of a, of a red light piping there. So up to you, which head you think works better on this figure, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> totally up to you which one you want to use. Me personally, I'm going to leave this one on here. And uh, swapping the heads is easy. You just undo that screw right there, take it apart, pop on the new head, screw it back together. There you go. So cool. You get an alternate head, you get alternate display options, which I do very much appreciate. So there you have what now for comparison. Let's bring in the other long hauls here. So here we have Combiner Wars long haul. <laughs> oh, I can't look at that thing without laughing. I just can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyway, so now we have Combiner Wars long haul. And here we have the Toy World long haul, who is always a bit of a pain in the butt to get standing because he doesn't have heels. And he needs heels. There we go. I'll have to lean you forward a little bit, but at least he'll stand. Now we have uh, Toy World Long Haul. Here we have the TFC Long Haul. And here we have G1 Long Haul because it's pressure. It's holding that pressure. That's right. It's a long haul party. Because ain't no party like a long haul party because a long haul party don't stop. It doesn't, it really doesn't. And <laughs> beef pig! Anyway, there you have that. And there you have that. Oh no! What are we doing? What are we doing? We're going to bring in the other gravity builder dudes. Let's take a look at all of them together. I don't know if I can get them all in the shot, but we's gonna try. We's gonna try real hard and probably fail. <laughs> Let's see, let's move him back a little bit further. There we go. There we go. Get this guy in there. Get him in there. That's as close as we can get to getting him all in frame. Let's pull back a little bit. There we go. There we have the team thus far. And they do look quite good together, if I do say so myself. And I do say so myself because I'm the only one in this room. <laughs> ah, so anyway. Oh yeah, that's let's get these guys out of the way. Get out of here! Get out! Get out! Get out of here now! Get out! Do it! Do it! And just for a mainline comparison, here he is with Combiner Wars Voyage All Prime. So you can see how he scales there. So you know he's basically Voyager sized. And here he is with Leader Megatron. So you can see how he scales there. So there you have that. So yeah, there you go. There you have Dump Truck. Um, 
a nice figure. Um, just little things that I think could have been done differently. I mean, I, I have my nitpicks with all of these figures. Um, just as far, and, and mostly it just comes down to locking points. Um, I do wish that the shoulders locked in a bit better, because like I said, when you're, you know, fiddling around with his arms, they do tend to come unpegged. I wish there was a uh, locking point for this. Um, and just a little place for this part the tab as well. You know, it all just boils down to just, just things I wish just tabbed in, period, or just locked in better. Um, but all in all, though, I really like the designs of these guys, um, as I've said many times before. You know, I just really like them. <laughs> very, very cool designs. So, there you have that! Five down, one to go, when that last one will be released, I don't know. Hey, that rhymed and everything. But yeah, I don't know when the last member is going to be released, but rest assured, when he is finally released, he will be reviewed, and then we will take all these guys and make us a Devastator. Hopefully, it'll be soon. Hopefully. Hopefully, it's soon. But I don't know. So there you go, so if you would like a dump truck or any of Generation Toys other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Gravity Builder playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Generation Toy Dump Truck, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Lord Megatron! Please tell me you're almost done with my space bridge. We're getting there. That's it. That's your progress report. We're getting there. Well, we're doing our best, sir. What is taking you so long? Well, it, it, it's not our fault. Well, whose fault is it? It's, it's, it's someone who's not us. That's your best explanation? Blah, 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 someone who's not us? Um, yeah. Get back to work! Yes, sir! I swear to Primus, one of these days I'm gonna blah, blah, blah my foot up all their blah, blah, blahs.